Series 15 was a lot of fun to shoot, and we had some good guest appearances on all the shows. We had some good fishing and some bad fishing, and that's why it's called fishing and not catching. What I want to do now is run through a compilation of Series 15, and that's today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander Reels, Precision Reels, and The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design, and Rio Products, specialists in fly lines, leaders, and tippet materials. We're very fortunate here at Sport Fishing on the Fly to visit some beautiful locations. So let's go and check out some of the beautiful spots we're at for Series 15. down a little bit. And that black bear came out to see us. He was right behind us, wasn't he? That was funny. He was right close to us. Ah, he's just a little guy. Little fat black bear. Following mom. 
on the bench is a very popular segment of the show. Unfortunately, I still have time to get to the bench and tie the odd fly. So let's show you the compilation of flies from Series 15. Today on the bench, we're going to tie you up the black and maroon micro leech, the matchstick chronomate, green leech, the silver smelt, the purple crystal bunker, anti static chronomate, the dry stick midge, the red and blue butcher, and we call it the pupa. Remember, when you're about to tie a micro leech, there's some important things you want to remember. Keep it small, keep it thin, and bury the colors. The great little patterns. And there it is, the finished big green leech. You know, some days big fish want big flies. And that was the case today at Roche Lake. Every time we cast that fly out, it had to be big, it had to be green, and it had to be moving. So there it is, the match stick. Now the thing to remember when you're tying this pattern is keep the head the same size as the body and allow that mallard to hang straight down to give it that thin coronamid look. And there's the last step. Just done a quick whip finish on the fly. Now the one thing I mentioned before in the intro is this fly is especially good in the Columbia River in early season when the fish are feeding on midges and it also does work very well in our local lakes. So there it is, the finished silver smelt. It's one of the various streamer patterns we like to use here at Sport Fishing on the Fly, and it really comes into its own when fishing for trout. Sometimes it's a real pain to have to go to a size 16 or 18 to catch fish, but when the fish are keyed on them, you have to. And this pattern here is a great go-to fly. And there it is, the finished pupa. This is one of many original patterns you can tie with all the new materials available today. And there it is, the finished downsel fly. Now, the things that I mentioned earlier on when I did the introduction, the three big things the fish are looking for is movement in the fly, color variation, and eyes. And there it is, the finished red and blue butcher. You know, most of the time I don't fish traditional patterns, but when the water is clear and the fish are finicky, this is one of my go-to patterns. So there it is, the finished purple crystal bugger. I really do enjoy fishing buggers for most of my steelheading, and that's just one more for my arsenal. And there it is, the finished multi bloodworm. It is one of the tougher patterns to tie, and it can be a little frustrating due to all the rubber legs, but believe me, when you get it on the water, it's worth it. Every show has to have its bloopers, and we have our fair share. Most of them are not appropriate for younger viewers, but let's show you some that are. Roche Lake is one of my top. Roche Lake is one of my favorite lakes to fish. It did make my top 10 on Outdoor Magazine when I actually wrote an article. The beauty of this lake is it is, is now. Oh. Roche Lake is one of my favorite lakes to fish. It actually made my top 10 when I wrote an article. Art, Roche Lake is one of my favorite places to fish and actually made my top 10 list of favorite all time places. Oh. Yeah, we got into one of the big dollies. I don't know how big he is, I saw him. He looks about, I don't know, he looked about five to six pounds. I'm not sure, but. Oh yeah, look at him. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Guess what it is? It's a big squawfish. Look at Nice. Nice. That's what else you can catch in here. Big squawfish. I thought I finally had a big dolly. Oh. Oh, no. The big, <laughs> the big toad. Okay, you got the net? Yeah. Okay. If you can lift it up higher, it's going to get away. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Got ya. A lot of casts. A lot of hope, a lot of prayers, eh, Al? Yep. <laughs> a lot of prayers. <laughs> and a lot of rye. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of rye. <laughs> we'll be tapping into it later. If we get punished, we'll see. New materials in the fly tying world are really, are really allowing, should I say are really allowing? New materials in the fly tying world are allowing us, no. One of my favorite patterns to use for, no, okay. There are lots of blood worrying patterns Available, something like that. Okay. Roll him.
<laughs> multitasking. I love it. You gotta be able to multitask when you're a guide. Yeah. So Some guy, you haven't even let me cast yet. He's catching all the fish. Can't help it. Don, I got a breakfast fish. <laughs> this is, all right. I've never been out in a lake this early. <laughs> but we yeah. did it because oh. it's going to blow today. Yeah. Well, we got out here how early, Brian? It was like 7. <laughs> the water at 7.30, man. Well, look at you. I couldn't even <laughs> see my indicator. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> that isn't good at all. Oh, is this one under? Oh, you got it. Go. Oh, go on. Grab my, somebody grab my rod. Grab my rod. Grab my rod. I'm filming. Grab my rod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see my indicator I just see my line tighten everybody your indicator's gone I just watched it go down it was darn I didn't quite get the hooks I missed them <laughs> see the indicator it, it was, was good funny. oh it was oh well it's a little baby is it looks like the kind Don catches on the indicator <laughs> don't splash me buddy oh <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> he got his face wet. Oh, I don't like that. I like that. <laughs> He's gone, just like that. There you go, we pop out 20 feet, 30 feet off the front edge of our wharf in a fish that size. Phenomenal. Out here dragging. Whew. Looking forward to a good afternoon. I guess I better push the record button now. Shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one question I got for the bulldog. Now, when has Al ever been the top ride? We talked about it. We think the witches have been dancing around the cauldron <laughs> because Al, I think we've been fishing together for probably 25 years. At least, yeah. And this is the one he gets to gloat all winter as being top rod. I last know, it's bad enough that he all fishes up, but at the end of the year, that's a kicker. <laughs> We caught many different types of fish this year and different sizes. So let's go back and review some of the fish from Series 15. <laughs> oh yeah, nice fish, Al. You know? That's a beauty. There he goes. Yeah, good catch, Big Al. Oh, gee. Whoa. <laughs> there he is, just a little baby. Look at this little guy. Look at that. Fought just great. Little fish like that and just fought excellent. They're all just chrome bullets in here. And there he goes. Finally, we started picking up some steady action here. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what was the key to, to start picking them up? You know, it was the wind. We got a little bit of a, little bit of a rip on the water. Right? A little chop and... They're all nice fish though, eh? That's the thing about this lake. Every fish is a good one. That's just an average fish. Nice big cone bullet. Yep, they're all good sized fish. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. 18 inches and just oh, yeah. chrome. Cone. Just chrome. Look at that. The, what do you got? The seal seal bugger on yeah, there? Just hanging. Look at that. Just give it a little, little flick. And off he goes. There he goes. Nice. 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 That's pretty. We've had, you know, for the last hour, it's been almost every cast. A lot of times, I just landed this little fish right here, and, and a lot of guys make the mistake. They'll, they won't keep working around that water. They may make one or two more casts and not think about the fact that there's maybe other, a lot of times with cutthroats, when you catch a small one, Cutthroats, bigger cutthroats, will happily allow little juveniles to hang around them. 
And that means just because you've caught a little guy, there's a very good possibility there's a big fella laying out there beside him as well as the one you just caught. So you want to work the water really effectively once you've started catching fish in a given area. Like That'll anything, help. once you locate the fish, you got to work it, right? Yeah, you really do. And to some anglers, that's kind of foreign. They'll, they'll actually want to catch one or two in a run, and they'll put maybe two or three more casts in, but they really won't give the water as much work as it really needs. You should be planning on putting at least five to 10 good casts over that same piece of water, maybe a foot or less, oh, and if nice. you do it right, you get another fish nice. just like just that. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, baby. See, you just gotta match it up. Come on, baby. Come to Kelly. Show him your stuff. And that's a nice fish. Just in the side of the mouth, they're rolling on the tape. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, come on. Oh, you big, pretty boy. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. Isn't that a beauty? Oh, oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> hey, Johnny, thanks a lot oh, for hey, that guy. Thanks for handing me the rod and reel. <laughs> Just hold that. Probably three pounds plus. Nice half. Yeah, all right, let's set him in and give him a nice drink. There he goes. Oh, he's just glowing. Oh, yeah. So Isn't that nice. unbelievable? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's just. Barely lip hooked. Look at that. You know, it's a dandy, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Oh, and look at how thick they are on the back. You know, that's a nice hen. Probably, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> it's a nice chrome fish. I can see him there, but Al, you might have to help me. I don't, I can't get him. Wow, and that's why you use heavy pound test. I think Dale's got 15 pound test on. And Not 15. When you're going after these big guys, you have to. They look pretty big. Oh, he looked like he was probably around 12 pounds or so, looked like 10, 12. Yeah, well, that's a nice When he size. jumped, anyway. Well, he's been digging. I just can't get him out of that fast. We're not See, in a very good spot. No, we've been out here for an hour and we decided to stop at this one spot. And the wind has come up on us big. Look at that. Look at the size of him. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's big. Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Now, well, throw him right there in the water because I think we might lose him when we're trying we to. We won't lose him. You'll get him. We'll tail him. Oh, yeah, he's down there. That's a nice fish. Just be ready, Don. Yeah. Grab him by the tail. I'm trying. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice big steelhead. Yeah, he's about 12 pounds. You about 12 pounds? Yeah, I looked about 12. Nice, beautiful. Nice right fish. in the corner of the lip. I got your rod. Look at the light. Oh, I know. That's, that's a thing. Hold him by a. Yeah, hold him up again. Get him right up there for everybody to see. I got a nice close up. Oh yeah, look at that. Now there is one gorgeous fish. That's the beauty. That's the lure of steelhead right there. Revive here. You know, for 12 pounds. Oh, there he goes. Hey. Good job. I'd shake your hand, but I have a rod in my hand and everything else. There we go. I got him. Look at that. Isn't that nice? There you go. I'll hold him for you. Yeah, yes. I'll take the rod for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another a big beauty. steelhead. We thought it was a coal. We couldn't yeah. tell. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful steelhead? Took it. Took Dale's pink. Yeah, well, I'll put him in there, give him a drink, and that's got to be, I don't know, that's probably pushing how big Dale. Like, What's that one? Yeah. Uh, 15 pounds. 15 looks like plus. That. There he goes. Yeah. Well, thanks for the fly, Dale. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So these these fish are they 
on the morrow looking for Hyalella shrimp. Oh, okay. And they're picking off the odd damselfly nymph and even the odd leech in there. But because it's late fall, this is where the groceries are, either on the morrow or on the carish patches that are in here. He's chasing it. He I got it, him. didn't he? Yeah, I got he him. Yeah. I got him. Dog. He ate it. <laughs> he ate that. Isn't that awesome? He followed it up the whole did, way. He did you see it that? And he ate it. That was so cool. Well, that's, how what, you, that's how you get dower fish what, to eat. What did he eat, bro? <laughs> he ate the booby. With the booby. That is my favorite, favorite moral on moral. pattern on moral on this kind of stuff. And you know what? How often have we proven that? Over and over again. <laughs> it's not even fair. He saw that, he chased Did it for how many feet? <laughs> he came 20 feet. 20, at least 20 He feet. was on it like a and dog just, on a pole. He just ate it, turned, and then, well, you had him. Look at how he took it. He just went at it. And there, it barber's hard. hook. There's the, there's the fly right there. Ooh, that water's significant colder today. Yeah. Oh, look at that, that's a nice Isn't that fish. a beautiful fish? Of course. Have a quick look. Quick, yeah, quick sample. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's been eating. There he is there. Nice fish. Isn't that a pretty fish? There he is. There he goes. Oh. Ooh, he was gone. I think he's getting there. He is. I'm just trying to keep turning his head. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, and he's just by the just by there the he corner. Is. Oh, oh. There he is. Oh, now I gotta get my hands you, wet. It's your turn. Oh, look at that. That's Danny. Oh, what a fish. Everybody again. I can get in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can I get in there? It's called the aquarium. Gee. The aquarium, no kidding. Holy cow. There. Oh, gee. There it is. There it is. <laughs> One more shot. Just a beautiful. All right. Series 15 was a real pleasure to bring you, like every other series we've done up until now. The thing about it is every series up until now has been done in standard definition. Next season, Series 16, we're doing completely in high definition, so it should be a good jump in quality and a lot of fun to bring you. Make sure you check out our new website, it's sfotf.ca. I just want to thank everybody for watching. Take care when you're out in the wild, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next season in high definition when we take you sport fishing on the fly. To watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.